Hello guys, this is Vaish. So a uh, very important video with respect to UPSC. It's not about uh, talking about yoga or any physical exercise or any spirituality. This is about the relevance of these topics in UPSC. Okay, yoga, International Yoga Day, Summer Solstice, Solar Eclipse. This year is very special. I'll tell you why in the next uh, slide. So please uh, watch this till the end because this is very important for you. A question will surely come this year or next year in prelims and mains. Okay. Because 2019 already a question came, that also I'll show you. So in 2020, many locations will see a rare solstice annual, annular solar eclipse on the same day as the June solstice. So these are two different things which happens across the year. You know, so, so solar eclipse happens every now and then. And then uh, June solstice is something which happens every year. So these things are colliding or happening on the same day. And this happening only like twice this century. Okay. In 2020, and 2039 in this century okay 2000 to 2100 the 100 years only two times this will happen and that is why it's very very special and that's why this video is being made it's like every year i could have made uh, this uh, uh, kind of topic but this year it's special and that is why it's important for you now as i told solar eclipse will happen on june 21 2020 uh, you should know what is solar eclipse first okay the moon passes between the earth and the sun like you know this is like uh, sun is there here earth is there here moon is there so my sun earth moon so <clears throat> you know this uh, like uh, earth and uh, moon is like rotating revolving things are all moving but so there will be one position where it comes in straight line so when it comes in straight line the solar rays before it reaches the earth okay there can be a uh, deflection or there, there can be a shadow of the moon cast on the earth so that phenomenon is called solar eclipse same way there is lunar eclipse also try to google and see in which position of this sun earth and moon that's also same thing only a particular alignment will happen but which alignment okay which is in between what that is causing the lunar eclipse so here here solar eclipse means moon passes between the sun and the earth now so that can be like totally or partly causing the image to blur okay like it will come in a different way for the viewer on earth now this is the first solar eclipse in 2020 today which is happening the second and the next one last one will be in december but it cannot be seen from india you know this thing earth is like rotating so it's not like every solar eclipse you can see from every part of the uh, world it will be different dates in which you can see and that's already charted and it's there in the uh, weather websites you can see that now uh, india when you can see next is this one october 25 2022 is the day when uh, india can see next so today is very special because of that but don't go and look outside the sun solar eclipse is not safe to be seen with the naked eye okay not even with any glass you have you need to have that special glass for that uh, so this thing uh, so i think 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock or something please don't go outside please don't uh, look into the sun and also they tell don't eat food during that time and all that is actually in the olden days because uh, when the sun this harmful radiations comes and it is like even hitting the food items which you cook and all it can have some effect and it can cause some uh, trouble okay in digestion it causes problem with your digestion that is what it is the scientific uh, ancient start beginning but now you cooking inside your house and all these things it's, it's not very like huge impact and all so but still people most people in india follow that they don't eat during the solar eclipse okay i think today is from 10 o'clock to 1 30 or something you can google for the timings and uh, this is a 2019 question 21st june the sun so if you see very very easy for upc to frame a question they did not have to put any effort they're simply asking like today 21st june where is the sun so arctic circle antarctic circle equator tropic of capricorn they are asking what is happening in each of the region so if you see here the answer to this is actually arctic circle and the it the sun will be shining overhead the tropic of cancer in the northern hemisphere where india is also there but uh, this equator they purposely put it here tropic of capricorn they purposely put it so these two are false because in these two statements it should be tropic of cancer okay the sun will be overhead the tropic of cancer and here it's not antarctic circle because it's in southern hemisphere Arctic Circle is in the Northern Hemisphere. So this is the answer and why this or how this I'll show you with pictures in the upcoming slides. So okay, this is just for a beginning I'm showing you the MCQ and this was easily solvable two marks every Vaishya student would have got because it was there in our geography test. Okay, geography is at number two of last year and this picture which you see you have to buy hard this picture because this question is picked up directly from here. It's there in your geography textbook NCRT. Okay, so see here. Uh, Arctic Circle uh, 24 hours of daylight. That's what they're asking. Sun does not set okay that is 24 hours of daylight in the arctic circle and in polar uh, north pole it will be six months of day and opposite of that will be happening in the uh, antarctic circle six months of night okay see antarctic and the southern hemisphere it's all dark during this time 
so this is how the picture is and this picture is also again in detail i'll show you in the upcoming slides so understand that upsc can ask you anything okay this international yoga day solar eclipse uh, solstice these things which you see every now and then in tv and news and all you feel like it's something random it's not at all relevant but upsc asks pin pointed questions on that and it's two marks for you and two marks can change your entire uh, selection process I will show you another question because in the earlier days, UPC used to ask very, very difficult questions, technical questions. So in 2013, one question is variation in the length of daytime and nighttime from season to season are due to what? So this again, a little bit complicated if you don't know basic concepts. So again, I'm telling you, I cannot teach you everything, but I'll show you a little bit in this video. What you have to do is you have to do your geography 600 to 1200 NCRT. And if you're comfortable in Hindi language, go and watch Munal's channel, Geography Around 55 video playlist is there. I always recommend, okay, like usually one institute will not recommend another institute, but Munal is the place from where I have learnt everything and whatever knowledge I have, it reflects in my test series, it reflects in my um, everything which I teach you. So I cannot, I have to say where I have uh, learnt from, that is why I always tell. So Manal channel is excellent source if you're comfortable in Hindi. If it's if it's uh, uh, difficult for you in Hindi, still you can do your NCRTs and do my test series. These things will be again covered for you. Now, length of daytime and nighttime and season to season are two different things. And if UPSC have asked the question, UPSC already asked in 2006, they asked like what causes season? Okay, summer, winter, rainfall, whatever. That will be a different answer. Here is not one, two, three. It's actually A, B, C, D. That means only one of them will be the answer. So by the end of this video, you will know what is the answer for it. But what they're asking, rotation, revolution in an elliptical manner, latitudinal position, or revolution on a tilted axis. So four things they have given. Actually, if, if they ask only seasons, the answer is another one. And if they ask day and night, it's another one. Okay, so that is why this becomes a little complicated. So stay, uh, watch the video till the end so that you understand these things. Now topics for the day. As I told, first thing it is special. I told you it's happening on the same day and it's two different phenomena. History of yoga, we'll see. Astik and Nastik school, very important for you. Now it's I'll tell you, like Astik and Nastik in this generation, what do you call? When you call somebody like Nastik, you are telling that you don't believe in God. But that is a human evolved theory. It's not like that when it originated. Uh, in the ancient India, when they said Astik means somebody who is following an orthodox, disciplined, traditional ritual life. It is not praying to God. It is like you are doing something in a disciplined fashion, in a very systematic fashion and you are, uh, what to say, not carefree. You are like caring about the things which you do in an orderly fashion. That is called Astik people. And Nastik means you are carefree. You don't believe in the system. You are doing whatever you like. You are enjoying life. That is called Nastik. But people today, they always, it's like that. You bring everything religion and you make it godly and you make it an idiotic way to life. And this uh, way people live now is like that. And I don't want to comment on that because that will become a controversy now. So, Nastik and Nastik, you should know how it originated. It is just meaning orthodox or not orthodox. That's all. So, six schools are there and out of which yoga is one of the things. That's why I'm mentioning here. And that is very important for you, UPSC also. And why June 21, I'll tell you because it's the northern hemisphere, longest day. So, that I'll show you with the ma uh, globe map again. I'll show you after some time. Then, summer solstice is what it is. Uh, how June 21 was selected now as International Yoga Day. Then, UNESCO Intangible Heritage Site, which is again important for you. Okay, because uh, yoga was ed added a few years back, it was added. It's one of the recent additions. So, what is UNESCO Intangible Heritage Site? Just the Wikipedia page, if you see, you will understand that. Then, uh, usually, we'll end with some tips. And I'll tell you, this is not a lecture video because if I have to explain all these things, I need a lot of hours. Okay, it's a technical thing. Or if, if yoga also, it's a philosophical thing, it takes a lot of hours. So, we'll just see how to study for this or where to study for this and what is the relevance. And all these topics are covered for you in detail. You have to watch this. Even if you are 2020 student who are going to give this October, most of you will be now in a uh, mental state that you have completed all the textbooks, you have all uh, uh, previous year papers and you are ready for it. But that is actually a false satisfaction and you will understand that after you watch all these videos because I am telling you clearly what is the reason why students are failing in the exam. Okay, many, many students think like I do all the lectures, I do uh, one year coaching class, I am done. It's not like that. You will still fail and why you fail, you will understand when you watch this. So please, please watch all these videos. And test series also launched. That video also is there. Samples are shown and paper by paper, I am showing you. Uh, GS1234, I will make it. Okay, within next week or two weeks, I will make it. And uh, depression video I made recently, that's also very important for you. Please watch it. Now we'll do the yoga video. 
so first the solar eclipse this is how the as i told the moon will come in between the sun and the earth so the uh, sun's rays will be going like this and this uh, uh, shadow of the moon will be cast so that also the four five types of shadows are formed so you just remember these terms okay this uh, penumbra and antumbra that is partial and annular only these two terms by heart it just like that upsc will not ask more details on this unless you are a geography optional you don't need much on this okay if you are a geography optional you have to study from um, study more with pictures and diagrams and all so here if you see that bigger shadow which you see okay that one they are mentioning like this partial eclipse this penumbra thing and this uh, small thing which you see here this one they are showing you as annular eclipse so by heart this just like this this is the minimum knowledge you need of uh, what is solar eclipse this is the only thing you need to know now these are upcoming dates again i'll show you a website actually that website is where from i want you to study in detail even if you do geography textbook uh, there's a website called dateandtime.com okay dateandtime.com just like the type in google immediately whatever geographical concept related to this earth movement continents and all these things you can see with picture by picture explanation okay even this picture which i showed you is taken from there it's not my own that's why i did not put a watermark also here so this one history of yoga we'll start with the yoga before we go to solstice and technical things and all we'll see a little bit of history before you go to geography so yoga is yug okay that is union union with yourself it's a group of physical mental and spiritual practices or disciplines which originated in ancient india yoga is one of the six astika schools like i told of hindu philosophical tradition it is followed in hinduism buddhism jainism and also in the western world right from the indus valley time okay there have been rituals there have been postures okay based on the images we have recovered or the sculptures we have recovered it can be understood that yoga postures were there even then but it is not like it became a scientific study that will come later and in the rigveda it is mentioned you know there are four vedas rigveda yajurveda atharva veda and all uh, so in that rigveda oldest veda it is mentioned and in upanishads and you should know what is the different types of things in history okay in art and culture test series you can understand that what is itihasas what is upaveda what is vedanga all these are different different terms normal people need not know what is this but upsc aspirant has to know it okay so you have to study it so it is developed as a systematic study around the 5th and 6th century bc because this is the time when a personality called uh, patanjali will come and uh, Uh, this one yoga sutra he writes a book or scriptures or a compilation where he is telling about these things in the second century bc and later in the 20th century in india swami vivekananda propagated it and then it became more popular but even before that across the world this 9th and 11th century uh, hatha yoga was there hatha yoga i'll show you in the next slide hatha yoga is the actually the physical part of it okay it's, 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 as i told physical mental and spiritual is there so physical part of it where you do okay the present world is actually doing only hatha yoga and they call that as yoga okay because i'm not telling it's bad but they have changed the meaning of the general word yoga okay everybody who tells yoga means you are doing some kind of postures and physical things for your physical relaxation and that is how it is uh, now like outside india it has developed into a posture based physical fitness stress relief and relaxation technique but when it originated in indian traditions it is more than physical exercise it has a meditative and spiritual core union okay union with yourself so that is why the meaning has changed but still it's good for you and if you can do it, it you should do it every day okay at least from today if you want you can start doing it. it's a good day to start so this is the basic history of yoga and this is hatha yoga as i told uh here why i am showing you the wikipedia page i'll tell you because any topic students have this problem that sir he didn't teach me that that sir did not teach me that you don't have to worry about these things unless google internet is not there you cannot complain all these things any topic you take any festival any uh, a political issue any fight or uh, gs3 you take a uh, rail road or uh, schemes in india food processing sector any anything you need simply type it okay and the first link which comes if it is a indian thing obviously indian website will come ministry website will come or the prs or pib will come uh, or the if it's a body okay like if it's a niti ayog and about me page will come for that or if it's any any parliamentary committee the lok sabha rajya sabha related page will come anything the first page which comes you have to spend 2 minutes 3 minutes reading that that is the only thing from where upsc will ask question this is my guarantee to you because i have done research on upsc papers and that is why i am able to teach you things okay so uh, every time every year upsc asks things in such a way because they want you to be just aware of things okay this word aware if you go and do control f in your upsc notification at least five times it will come okay self awareness basic awareness awareness of things around you this is what upsc expect you they don't want you to take a phd in subjects so please go and do the wikipedia of any topic if it is not given to you any material is not given to you please don't complain okay this is one uh, tip for you and uh, this particular topic if you see 
uh, whatever you see in blue color this is the only thing upsc picks up also so in case they want to trouble you with any yoga related thing like hatha yoga is associated with what and they'll put uh, five things okay this natha sampradaya or some shiva something or buddhism jainism they'll put some four book names you should understand this natha sampradaya is there and going further the founder of that will be this person mat uh, mat syendranath and then his disciple is goraknath these are the people who propagated it, hatha yoga and then um, here again some names are given so whatever you see in blue color just make a note maximum 10 words are there 10 keywords just make a note now itself because this is the only thing you need to know about this topic so like this you do for everything okay see ashtanga yoga or kapila kapila and all will come in the next slide also uh, mudras are there and see vajrayana buddhism so if you please ask a statement like whether this is defined in vajrayana buddhism it is a true statement but if you don't study it if you don't read this line you will not know also in the exam hall after coming out you will tell like upsc is asking very weird questions where will i go and search this it is not there in any ncert it is not in ncert but it is there in the first page of wikipedia first paragraph of wikipedia this whatever above this content section no that is what i call first paragraph i don't want you to do any detailing below that because it will be very lengthy just do this first half you will get the upsc answer for it for whatever question If you don't believe me, you can go and try with any question which you found complicated. Okay, it will be there in the first page of About Me or Wikipedia. So as I told, the modern form of yoga, they are calling simply as yoga, uh, but they are actually doing only these things. They are doing only this uh, hatha yoga. Okay, that's what I told. The uh, definition changed over the years. Now this is why I am mentioning again because UPSC has this habit of asking some book names and telling like whether it is related to this or whether it is defined in this. If they ask like yoga is defined in and they give one two three four four items, you should know it is there in Yoga Sutra of Patanjali, it is there in this Katha Upanishad, it is there in Bhagavad Gita, it is there in Sri Mahayana Buddhism. One work it is there. Okay, Yoga Kara work and then this Vaisheshika. Vaisheshika is actually another uh, Astic uh, school, Orthodox school. I'll show you in the next slide. And then the Jain work. One of the Jain work, Yoga Sataka. this also they can put master following they can put four books of yoga here and four religions here hinduism buddhism jainism so you should know then this uh, some kaundinya uh, some person okay his some another one sutra then this linga purana okay related to shiva so in this also so almost one easy way to remember is like everywhere it's there in jainism in buddhism in shiva in bhagavad gita everywhere this thing is there but specifically if you pay someone to trouble you they can ask you these book names okay so like this i think four more books i'll show you see here brahma sutra by this uh, adi shankara and this kashmir shaivism it is there then this shaiva siddhanta then yoga bija and uh, shakta tantra okay so this 10 book names it's not very difficult to recollect so make a note now on the day of prelims on the morning simply read this glance once over no extra research nothing else whatever i have showed you in this video more than this if you psc ask then you psc have no other work and they don't have any questions left in their uh, this thing okay they have to go below their standard if they have to maintain their standard they have to ask only things which i have showed you in this thing okay now this one revision chart of many things are there given to you around 80 85 revision charts of history you will get out of this this is one of the revision chart where i have given a compilation of different things okay so if you see what is upaveda these are the things this ayurveda which you know gandharva veda dhanur veda these are the upavedas and these are the vedangas all these are different different things again i told if you don't know what is this wikipedia first two lines you will understand the difference what is upaveda and what is vedanga then here four vedas are there you should know because upsc in the 90s used to ask like where in which veda is medicine mentioned in which veda is magical spells mentioned in which veda is like uh, um, physical something mentioned okay they will ask the source of different things which you do in the present day okay then is manusmriti all the time it is in news then see itihasa means the epics okay ramayana mahabharata purana means again a smaller version of it the bhagavatam or vishnu puran then agamas are there darshan is there darshan or moksha is the six schools as i told nyaya yoga sankhya vaisheshika mimamsa and vedanta so if you see these are the things which upsc has asked repeatedly the founder of this timeline of this what it means like which is telling god is there which is telling god is not not there which is orthodox which is not so that kind of things upsc keep asking okay so you should know these terms So next uh, slide, I'll show you. See, these are again a little more detail into that philosophies. So four major parts of life, if you see, uh, dharma, artha, kama, and moksha. So again, books are there, personalities are there. You should know. Okay, again, you should find out who is who has written this Kama Sutra, who has written Dharma Shastra, what it involves. Okay, all these are there in your Arya Sharma textbook anyway. So if you do lectures or test series, you will get to know. So moksha is again six school. Moksha is or darshana, like I told in my last slide. it's mostly compiled in sanskrit and study is limited to brahmans 
that time okay and these are the six codes and this section match the following ups have asked many times in the 90s so if they come back and again trouble you you have to know and this is just keywords of this thing you have to pause it and read or if you have enrolled to my test series open the revision chart and see okay so here if you see when you go timeline if you go like this and when you reach the vedanta that is the bhakti movement time these personalities will come shankara ninth ad nirguna saguna is there okay like form god formless god then ramanuja there are many many people like this that are all in my test series detail it is covered because upsc asked the timeline they asked like ramanuja is contemporary with adi shankara so that will be false because he is 9th ad and he is 12th ad so they are not contemporary contemporary means living in the same time okay so that question is every now i think last 3 years repeatedly you is asking this contemporary sentence okay they will take two personalities randomly and ask you whether they were contemporary so please um, give importance to it okay it's two marks for you at this names please by heart and this gautama is not gautam buddha okay it's a different person nyaya okay so vaisheshika again if you see atoms and little bit scientific things are there yoga is this physical thing sankhya is the oldest one so this is what you basically will ask like sankhya is the oldest among uh, gnostic school you should know see they don't believe in god not god but nature plus spirituality so this kind of things you should know and this is very interesting this generation people will like this one actually lokayat or charvak this is actually the gnostic one see only one life no god enjoy maximum even boro if needed but enjoy against all sacrifices and rituals this is like keywords okay like explanation in my test series it will be there in detail paragraph but this is for a one glance that is why i tell you students who come and buy only revision charts you take this and you simply read keywords and you think like what is this person giving if you have done my test series you have already studied this in detail and on the exam day you are simply glancing through the revision chart that is why this revision chart is designed okay we cannot put an entire sentence here if we put entire sentence this will look we cannot compile it like this okay So again, see another name, Brahaspatiya. This also you can you basically can ask like Brahaspatiya in ancient history, uh, ancient uh, schools of thought is related to which school of thought, and they'll give this three from here and one from here, Lokayat. But if you did not study this, you will not answer it, and you lo lose two marks. But your competitor who did good revision charts or good test series like this, they will get two marks. Okay. So please understand the significance of topics. So that is a history part of it. Now we'll go a little bit geography part. Okay. Like I, again, I'm not going to technically explain lot of things because I have already done it in my NCERT videos. Or as I told you, you can watch other channels where it is clearly explained. But I'll show you pictures so that it will be idea is clear. Why June twenty one? As I told, is the longest day of the year in the Northern Hemisphere. So always this sentence should be complete. Never go and write in your exam hall like June twenty one is the longest day of the year in the world. It's not like in the world. It is in the Northern Hemisphere only. Okay, and it's the shortest in the Southern Hemisphere. And in ancient books also, in yoga, Indian books and all, it's written like it is the transition to Dakshin Nayana. Dakshin Nayana means Dakshin means south. So it is like from summer solstice to winter solstice, it is shifting. That is from June to December, the movement of the Earth, whatever happens, that is the uh, perspective that we have written. And that is why June twenty one is a significant day. And that is why it is suggested by our prime minister also that I will show you in the next slide how it became that day. Now technical aspect, if you see, suppose today, today is what June, so this we will take as a base. Now June twenty one, see this is the Earth, so here the equator will be like this. So that is why this is a tilted one. Earth is a tilted, tilted one. This is the tilted axis. So if you see, southern hemisphere is fully dark, but northern hemisphere where the tropic of Cancer here somewhere tropic of Cancer will be like this. Here Arctic circle will be like this. Okay, so this tropic Cancer is directly getting the sunlight. Okay, so it will be daytime here, and at one particular time, because of this elliptical orbit. Okay, suppose it was a uh, circular orbit. Okay, Earth is here and Earth is here, meaning all the distances are equal. That time, the daylight and uh, day and night timeline will be same only. Like example, this equinox time, March and September. This time, it is like the day night day length and the night length. Okay. Uh, day length and the night length will be equal that is why it is called equinox at this point of time but in june solstice or december solstice the day and uh, night length will be different it will be longer days during uh, the summer time so now this day june 21 it is the longest and it can vary from 22 to 22 each year it will be different mostly it will be 21 that is why it is suggested for international yoga day also so this is how the general picture is okay and as i told this is the dakshina that dakshin nayana movement and it is going like this september it will go like this december it will reach at a point and the uh, it will keep going like this okay so you know revolution ret rotation basic concept if you don't know read ncert so as i told in the northern hemisphere june 21 is the longest day let me try to make it a table kind of thing because it's little confusing even when i explain i'll get confused so northern hemisphere southern hemisphere yo sorry Give me a second. Yeah, northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere. June twenty one and December twenty two. 
in northern hemisphere this is the longest day in southern hemisphere it is the shortest day in uh, december 22 in northern hemisphere it is the shortest day and southern hemisphere it is the longest day so you should know this again but this is how it is but in general geographical term still everywhere across the world we call this as summer solstice and this one we call as winter solstice but you should understand the truth or true fact that uh, in december in southern hemisphere like suppose australia australia when every like every like entire world is celebrating christmas and all with uh, this you see the pictures of christmas when you imagine how it is like full snowfall and it is like december like this but in australia it is actually summer season you should know that it's like in northern hemisphere it is that way in usa or india and all but in southern hemisphere in christmas december time it is actually summer okay and still geography technically we call it as winter solstice because the naming convention is followed based on northern hemisphere the, all the namings which you see is based on northern hemisphere so that is why this is called summer solstice always across the world and this is called winter solstice across the world okay but in actual you should know in june month now here we have summer or summer ch changing to monsoon but in other place it will be uh, winter okay so that basic thing you should understand so i hope it's clear if it's still not clear again i'll as i told go, go and read geography ncrt and there is a website called dateandtime.com i'll put a link in the description okay when you click on that picture by picture all these pictures are taken from there okay it's not i did not create these pictures these are from that only so any beginner can also understand but hope at least idea you got this much is enough if you are not a geography optional this much is enough especially for prelims this much is enough now this is again the little more detailed one so if, if you see the 2008 one 2008 the date was june 20 okay so here if you see summer solstice see only the northern hemisphere light is there southern hemisphere light is not there and it's like going face by face and see this is autumn this is vernal vernal means spring season okay spring or vernal and see here summer and winter okay even though like i told in december southern hemisphere it is a summer time there generally the um, terminology we use is winter solstice because we are naming based on what is happening in the northern hemisphere so hope it's clear this is how the earth rotates and now as i told because it's an elliptical path you are having the variation in daytime and nighttime in different seasons but if UPSC ask what what causes season okay that's a different question i think 2016 they asked what causes season the answer will be simply the tilt the tilt and the rotation okay i mean the revolution because because of the tilt what happens is it the, it's not uniform because if it was straight like this this thing will get equal equally okay but because the tilt is there, the variation in sunlight is there in different places. And because of that, you have this summer or this, uh, what is a sunlight area, okay, which falls. It's different. And that is how the seasons are caused. So, tilt is the reason for seasons. Not only tilt, the entire rotation also. But the elliptical path, okay. Elliptical path is the reason for the day and night length variation. So, hope it's clear because UPSC has a high chance of repeating it. It's a 2013 question. They can repeat it in 2020 or 21. Okay. So, please understand this. This is the picture which I want you to buy heart because this is the one which UPSC asked in 2019. This simple thing, this is the only thing they asked for two marks. They asked when is what is happening on June 21. Sun, uh, sun is where? So sun is overhead the tropic of cancer. It is the time when 24 hours of daylight is there in the Arctic Circle. And uh, during this season, six months of daytime is there in the Northern Pole. And it will be completely opposite in the Southern Pole. So, in here in winter, December 21 again, 21 or 22, shortest day of northern hemisphere. That time, it will be the reverse of it. So, UPSC can ask it again. After two years or after three years, they will ask it again. Sure, like they will ask because they don't have any questions now, as I told. They are running out of questions and they are inventing ideas, okay, to how trouble the students. So, please, this picture, by heart tick now itself, question will come. It will be, you will not regret it after you study this. Okay, even in mains, you can make these diagrams. It's very, very, uh, it creates a good impression on the examiner. If you make this diagram, you will get two mark extra there itself. Again, this is the theory of that. Again, I've taken from that uh, date and time. If you want, you can pause and read. It will be telling the same thing. Equinox, vernal and autumn. Okay, two times in a year, as I told, uh, uh, September and uh, March month. So, Earth's axis is tilted neither towards or away from the, nor away from the sun. Like I told in that picture, only during March and September, it will be without that tilt formation. So, it will be like having equal day and equal uh, this thing. And uh, these events are referred to as equinox. The word equinox is derived from uh, this thing two latin words whatever and i don't think i have to read all this you would have understood it but this is a theory so pause it and read it if you want because i don't want to make the video length uh, more but i hope it's clear and here they have given see north hemisphere means what 
these are the uh, countries through which tropic of cancer pass you should know i think around uh, 13 countries are there through which tropic of cancer pass and uh, tropic of capricorn there are around uh, 10 countries okay so you should know which are the countries everything is not mentioned here but it's there in one of my revision chart and it is explained in one of my videos also i think in uh, geography lecture only it is explained but these are things as, as i told this video's intention is to make you understand what all upsc can ask okay so i think already five six areas i have covered i'll show you a few more areas and this is one of the picture in that uh, uh, wikipedia again summer solstice what it is so if you see here every year uh, these are the dates okay see equinox march and september and this is summer solstice and this is winter solstice uh, according to northern hemisphere uh, and uh, if you see here date and time 2020 this is the june 943 something i mentioned so this is how it is and as i told before the content section whatever is there read only this for every term which you have doubt summer solstice winter solstice or equinox okay or here so you can navigate you click on this it will take you to winter solstice you click on here, wherever equinox is written it will take you to equinox so it's just a half an hour work and make your own notes you will have no doubt you will have zero doubt and you will be among the best aspirants who knows this topic okay now how june 21 was selected prime minister modi 2014 when he became this thing also he first time when he went to united nations uh, 27 september 2014 uh, he suggested this and 177 nations co-sponsored the revolution uh, resolution meaning usually everyone will not support when a new resolution comes okay before it's put to vote or whatever they will not support it but this case this is the highest ever such resolution for no other resolution this much support has come so 170 177 nations supported this including china with which india has problem now everybody supported this china, uh, world uh, yoga day and it was approved by majority also uh, i don't think it was even put to vote it was just decided okay so international yoga day observed since june 21 2015 so actually this is the sixth year okay 15 16 17 18 19 20 sixth year in which it is being observed uh, then reserve bank of india in 2015 issued a 10 rupee coin also because they keep doing that for every uh, personality and also they did it on in 2015 10 rupee coin so now you can mention your mains answer okay if something comes a question related to june 21 you can mention these uh, statistics and this is the speech or whatever uh, which modi told okay yoga is an invaluable gift of india's ancient tradition it embodies uh, un unity of mind and body thought and action restraint and fulfillment uh, harmony between man and nature holistic approach to health and well-being uh, it is not about exercise uh, but to discover the sense of oneness with yourself that is the unity concept which i told uh, the world and the nature okay yourself the world and nature by changing our lifestyle and creating consciousness it can help in well-being let us work towards adopting an international yoga day okay so whoever has written this speech for him he knows everything about this and it's like a very good thing also even you can quote this okay in your mains exam if any question comes on yoga this is exactly what you should quote and you will get full marks for that they cannot deduct because everybody will not by heart this and go you will be different your answer will look different okay now unesco intangible uh, this thing is the last topic which we'll do there's something like this okay unesco established this list of intangible cultural heritage okay Uh, intangible means what which you cannot touch okay like the um, dance or the music or this yoga kind of thing okay so, so there are many things like this i think kumbh mela was added recently festival so these are things which you cannot touch okay but it's good it's good for your culture so that kind which is preserved and practiced since years that is what is selected by unesco and it's very important you have to by heart uh, whatever happens also and the time also it was established in 2008 uh, when the 2003 convention okay this is what upsc will ask you because they will ask like it was adopted uh, in the sdg goals in paris summit they will ask but it is not like that it is actually 2003 some convention was there and that is when it took effect okay so this uh, took effect okay it's like 2003 convention but in 2008 it took effect okay and uh, again you can pause and see i i don't want to read everything and see number of 508 elements 122 countries so it's there across i think from india around 13 14 things are there so that i'll show you uh, i think now it's well show you that is better uh see these websites this is the timeanddate.com here what is solar eclipse in detail you can simply scroll moon cast a shadow everything what i explained to you i learned from here only see with pictures so you'll have no doubt better than me explaining you and wasting your time you can read this you can take your time and read this okay see this picture i showed you already in this video so this is how you study okay see stages what all happened first contact second contact how long does it last protect your eyes everything you need in 5 10 minutes you can read it okay this is this thing and if you solstice if you need again see same thing solstice 
this is how you learn you don't need anybody's help to clear upsc everything is there on the internet i am just a medium i am just trying to take it and research it for you actually students should do it yourself but i am doing it through a platform free of cost for you so please try to understand that you are capable of clearing upsc with zero help from anyone you just need a little bit of guidance which i am giving you okay and to practice them i'm giving you a test series so other than that you don't need any source everything is available now if you see unesco intangible uh, thing okay let that page refresh okay see here first page is there now if you see country by country they have given and you don't have to buy heart any of these directly go to india when you reach india uh where is india okay see here this is india you see you pay have asked one question on every single thing you see here 13 things for everything at least one question have come in upsc and see kumela is added in 2017 2017 and uh, uh, yoga is added in 2016 so that is why it is important okay so around 13 are there so you should know everything about these 13 and all of this in ccrt website if you type you will get a detailed explanation of this if you don't have ccrt website take my test series and do everything two to three mcqs detail will be there with pictures with the origin with uh, which uh, tribe is following it which part of india is following it what is the timeline everything so this is called unesco intangible heritage site and it's very 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 important okay now this is actually a hindu uh, sorry indian express article which is now live actually it's a live article see here live now they update the timeline it's like 6 30 today i'm recording now at around seven o'clock so 6 30 uh, uh, his speech will be there he will be addressing the nation see here 21st june 7 20 each prime minister each chief minister what they're telling all this live update is going on now in indian express so this way also you can read about it the current affairs i'm telling okay but the history and whatever i explained to you in the video itself so this is how you study any topic okay just use google and become the best aspirant okay now UPSC aspirants as I told you are people who have isolated uh, from everyone you are sitting alone you are studying with maybe two or three roommates or maybe completely alone you don't have any friends for you and all yoga will definitely help okay whatever you do meditate a day like five minutes meditate five minutes just sit alone or 15 minutes sit alone with you doing nothing not your mobile phone nothing it'll all help you okay like people have left you people have this I already shown my depression video also people think you are boring people think you are too much like yesterday I think I put a video in my Facebook page also like when you see a, a song short in Kashmir you will others will see like okay like beautiful song wonderful thing but you will see okay this is that uh, Pangong Lake this is where that conflict is going on UPSC aspirant thinks everything in UPSC angle so people consider you as a boring person okay so it happens it happens with every one of you so yoga meditation everything will help you okay so you know better things and you know you have lost a lot of things you know you have lost your job you have left your job your marriage is being pressurized there are many many things you are under stress so for you yoga meditation will help you and you should realize few things you are special okay you had the guts to go and attempt the toughest exam in this country which nobody else have even tried okay you they don't have even the uh, this thing to go and fill the form okay you are filling the form you are leaving all the ties you are sacrificing things you are not going outside you are not partying as others are doing your friends are all enjoying you are sitting and studying even this lockdown phase when everybody are doing different different things okay you are sitting and studying day and night you are researching about a series you are even like i have thousands of students messaging me every day so that itself shows if a small youtube channel like me thousands of people come and contact imagine how many people are there outside going and contacting big big institutes in this country so that is the competition and you are special okay and you could have had all the fun the stable life the job you could have continued that you will get maybe on-site job you will go to us you will go to um, southeast asia you will go anywhere you will settle you will buy that even your roommates will be like investing somewhere buying a car buying a bike you are not able to do this because your dream is bigger you have a bigger goal and that will all come true okay everything will come to you just have to put the hard work everybody were mocking you but you still stood strong maybe only your parents supported some people even parents don't support but parents are the minimum okay who will support you and then you are fighting for this dream day in and day out so you are the best you will get your dream sooner or later it's just a matter of time so whatever i can do to support you i will keep doing like this so if you feel this channel is helping you click on subscribe whatever is in youtube is completely free okay so enjoy this series help me help you okay get to your dream in a true genuine way and it's not like the other way and this whatsapp number when i give also many people immediately come and the first message no hi no hello first message is add me to the group in my 300 videos 300 plus videos i put in this channel not even one time i have mentioned there is something called a whatsapp group but inside the mind of a student the education market has imposed on them that whatsapp means whatsapp group and there will be a lot of people across the country you will go there chit chat 
hello how are you doing what are you doing what time did you wake up today how many hours did you study are you also buying this edition of spectrum you go and sit chat with these people entire day and none of you will pass i'm seriously telling you you may get offended you may feel bad but if you are not focused on yourself if you cannot google and find out something for yourself you lack the capability to become an ias officer or ips officer you don't need the help of hundreds of people sitting around okay you don't have to interact with people you need material for studying ask a institution ask a teacher ask someone who have given this exam okay that is why this whatsapp number is given and when we when you come and contact us we will give you the video link if you want to watch free videos we will give you the test series brochure if you want to join test series we will tell you what is the future what is the past what we have done for students till now but instead of that if you tell you have no whatsapp group i don't need your channel you are not giving me the spectrum slides i don't need your channel if this is how you rate someone you will not grow you will fail in life okay so please make use of your opportunity if something is there somebody is trying to help you you can do better you can do well and get your big dream your psc dream in style okay that's what i keep telling because you deserve this if you do all the hard work and if you don't deserve it uh, you have not done the hard work okay? you if you have not done hard work i see this telling you, you don't deserve your psc okay even we don't support students who don't do hard work so please do all the hard work whatever help you need we'll try to help you okay so hope this session was helpful thank you and have a nice day